Do you know that projectors come with a single mono speaker? That is why you always need to connect quality audio gear. Aside from that, you might need an installer to ensure that you have the right projector placement. On the other hand, TVs might be too small. Today's video will discuss how to build a home theater, TV versus projector, which is best for your home. Let us begin. Firstly, the display size is a constant determinant when considering how to build a home theater. We all want to see the pictures as large as they appear in the cinemas. While such high-resolution TVs exist, they are expensive. For instance, a Samsung 85-inch 8K TV costs around $5,700 on Amazon. But you can find a home theater projector with the same brightness, color, and resolution for about $1,400 with 100 to 200 inches of display size. That sure was expensive. <laughs> Therefore, despite the TVs catching up in terms of size, they might be coming at an outrageous cost. And if you want a screen for a large viewing room, you might need a projector. The screen size means nothing if the images are not clear enough. Projectors produce brightness in lumens, while TV brightness is calculated in nits. So which is higher? We will tell you shortly. Secondly, both of the display equipment do not have good audio. Nonetheless, TVs have a better sound. Watching movies with a single mono speaker that projectors offer might be unenjoyable. TVs have large stereo speakers that can shift the contrast between different frequencies. We can discuss investing in quality speakers for our audio advice home theater. This video is about finding the best viewing experience, which could include better sound. Regardless of the speaker ability of your display choice, invest in proper speakers that will fill your room. Speaking of buying better audio gear, the TV has a better position for connecting speakers. It is in front of you and can have the speakers next to it, facing you. However, projectors are behind you. You must connect the speaker from behind while placing them in front of you and leaving a mess with cables. We all know what could happen when you come home drunk and cables are lying around from the back to the front. And we can avoid it by getting a TV. Thirdly, brightness and contrast can help you decide between these two. Projectors work based on the darkness or otherwise of a room. Nevertheless, some projectors manage to advance their brightness by about 1,500 to 3,000 lumens. But since projectors reflect a light hitting a screen, the true brightness is always lower in a viewer's eyes. On the other hand, the least advanced LED TVs produce more brightness than the highest brightness producing projectors. Moreover, the project bulbs burn out after use. For example, these bulbs have 1,000 to 5,000 hours, and then you have to replace them, whereas TVs can work over 100,000 hours without needing replacements for a brightness reduction. Smart. Good investment. Laser projectors might not need bulb replacements, but they do not stand a chance near TVs. Still, on image quality, projectors' resolution is 1080p, while TVs have graduated to 4K. But does it matter? Later, we will discuss the features in 4K HDR that might be lacking in projectors. Still, on home theater calibration, installation is a huge consideration. Projectors are quite complicated to install. You need to plan if you require a screen hanging from our roof, a freestanding one, or you will just project it on a white wall. That also requires huge space since the screens are large. Most often, ensuring that the projector is correctly positioned could cause another headache. Can't seem to get it right. The positioning could require the help of an installer. On the contrary, a TV is easy to install. You place it on a stand in a holder attached to the wall or on the floor. The other equipment is plugged directly into the TV, and you can control it remotely. If you are having trouble setting up your TV on a wall, any home theater installer can do it within a few minutes and at no cost. Do you know what you could do at no cost? Subscribe to this channel so that we can continue to bring you exciting videos on appliances that matter to you. Hit the subscribe button now. Lastly, image quality can make a choice easier. When you have high-resolution videos to compare, what remains is the pixels to improve image quality. TVs have 4K resolution and can project with the highest pixels. 
In comparison, projectors accept and resolve all video content into their native 1080p resolution. That could be fine until you realize that some video games come explicitly in 4K. For instance, the PlayStation 5 and Textbox Series X. Furthermore, when it comes to high dynamic range HDR, TV has the upper hand with its light and color adjustments. Projectors can display HDR, but do not have the feature to make these chances. Now suppose you have made up your mind based on our comparison. You are almost ready to set up your home theater. We know that you have determined that a TV is a better choice. However, some mistakes are commonly made during the home theater setup planning stage. Our previous video highlighted five home theater mistakes to avoid 2022. Home theater setup ideas.